yeah, I don't understand. Okay, apparently this is an introduction to all the different races here. Hey, which, uh, I wanted to run into. you learned more than that in character creation just from the little blurbs it has on the side. Here's the settler person. And here's a little tooltip for the settler icons. Uh, the objects in the world you can are settler resources you can use to build improvements. Okay, that's kind of interesting. I guess I build things in the world as a settler. That makes sense. It's kind of interesting too, I think. Go ahead. Take it. Okay. Good talk. Let's see, security. Listen up, okay? okay. This is important. Time for the first mission. Gather up brew mugs and build an improvement at the depot. Your data crown has the details. Okay. You just unlocked a settler mission. I haven't at the party. Okay. So that's what these are. I can just push F to collect, apparently. It's one, two. What's this? Okay, I can deposit them here. You found a deposit depot. If you've collected enough settler resources, you can build improvements here that benefit your fellow adventurers. Building improvements count towards your settler mission, but you can continue building even after you've completed the mission. Okay, not enough. I need four mugs to build a, a beer keg. That's neat. Okay, I can dig this. We'll never go back to Knox. Nexus is on now. Oh, I sat in the on the thing instead of picking up the thing. But that's not the end of it. Okay. See, now it's telling me that I can go to the the area there and put in these mugs. Now that I have four, which apparently means uh, Great. a thing. To do. Get ready. But apparently, this is just one part of it. You have earned the title Ditch Digger. And a lot of the HUD keys are different from other games. Uh, character this thing is P instead of like C or something similar like that. Don't care much for it. Let's see, that's one of ten, huh? Let's see. Uh, what did that do exactly? Uh, I guess I wasn't paying attention to it. That sucks. Maybe I'll find it in that editing. Eh. It's like, I mean, it. Uh, whoop. No, I don't want to sit down. I'm. Come on. I had to literally click the mug first before I could use the interact button. That's, uh, great. I don't know. Maybe I'm collecting too many of these? I don't know. I kind of want to see what happens if I, uh, do it again. Because that was only one of ten. I keep sitting in things. Okay. I now have nine of these. Let's go for an even ten. Okay. Uh, let's go for twelve. That's, you know, divisible of four. These keep respawning, so I guess they'll do so indefinitely. And I guess let's fill that up four times. Because I don't think I'm supposed to be redoing it multiple times. I mean, it says I could. Let's see. What is, what is over here? Oh, I can drink. I see. And what is this? Liquid Courage. 
extra oomph in your attacks. Okay, that's that's actually pretty nice. And by doing it repeatedly, I get to add time to it. There we go. And now it's uh, there's a whole bunch of them. So let's uh, drink one more. I have a 30 minute buff here. Maybe this will continue it. I like it. This is nice. I like that. I can get fully behind this kind of design. It's not enough to make me uh, sub, but it's a step in the right direction. Okay. She told me to go do a thing, teleport to the security deck. Teleportation's kind of neat, you know. It's a nice way to disguise uh, that you're loading in a whole new map. Commander Stonebreaker, we've arrived in the Nexus system. Stabilizers read go for geosynchronous orbit. Preparing to launch expeditionary. And you know, disclaimer, I'm not an MMO expert or anything like that, and I assume if you're watching this on the after the last day of open beta, you're just you didn't either manage to get into it, you couldn't run it, or you're just trying to look at different opinions on the game. So hopefully I'm fulfilling that need. What you need. What's my situation? You know. Okay, Whoa. apparently I'm about to fight. You leveled up. Way to go, cupcake. It says that no matter what uh, you know, gender your character is. So but I'm still not a fan, it's a little immature for me. Yeah. There's Fubar, and then there's what we got here. Slag 'em, tag 'em, and bag 'em. Okay. Need to need to kill Draken and Makari. Which are the Dominion races of uh, the Dragon Lake and the Robot Lakes. Yeah, I already right clicked on my shield and equipped it. That's what I did in my menu earlier. You can double jump in this game. That's pretty cool. I almost just fell down. Oh, I didn't even look at what my uh, new attack did. Power Strike. Okay, it uses up kinetic energy, huh? Oh, but I killed them so fast, I didn't need to use it. Let's try using it. Ah. Equalizer Velka? I don't remember seeing this person before. Let's take care of it. Okay, I uh, didn't give me anything special. Whatever. I do need to kill more Makari though. Here's some. Don't quite understand uh, why that's uh, any good. It's on cooldown, huh? For me. Much like Sotor, you know, you can uh, you can call in some of these quests saying, hey, I finished the thing you asked me to do, and they can even give you quest rewards and stuff over that. Eh, let's see. What is the difference between this? This is a uh, range 7 meters instant multi-tap. Oh, you can use it three more times with a reduced global cooldown before incurring the cooldown. 70 damage to foes, whereas this is 37 damage. Okay, I can see how that's uh, that's good. Teleport to the relic room. Uh, I used to be able to. Can I only do that when the this is closed? No, no, there we go. Okay, 
if you click the uh, quest uh, information, it'll give you a little arrow pop up that'll tell you wh which way you need to go. It's useful. I wish there was a button I could press instead. Just, you know. Just kind of tell me what directions all my quests are at. It would be nice. Sure, let's talk. The next part's gonna be more fun than a bag of razor tails. Okay, I'm in the relic room. There's apparently a bunch of bombs. You gotta disable them. It's trying to teach you to jump and double jump. It's not a bad t tutorial for that, in my opinion. They do a, it does a good job at what it's trying to do. I mean, you don't actually have to double jump, so you can get through this without actually understanding that you need it. At least I think so. Maybe, maybe this next part will prove me wrong and make me a liar. Don't think so, though. But yeah, we just disabled the bombs, and then this one materialized, or rather it was cloaked before. So yeah, just a quick run and jump was good enough for that. There's not a lot of gravitas to any of this because you're just literally just walking up to a panel pressing F and then doing a little animation. And then the thing is solved. And you succeeded because you're the hero. Hooray! It's just a criticism of a, you know, previous MMO design. A lot of MMOs have gotten past that, I think. Or at least they managed to throw you into a cutscene, make it look more important. Just, just got a new pair of pants. Let's equip it. Yep, those sure are pants. A little nicer than what I had. She wants me to collect some books. Or a book. And she wants me to read it. That unlocks some lore. It's, you know, it's text. You can read it. I uh, haven't bothered with reading this just because it's the open beta and uh, time is limited. I don't want to sit around reading everything if uh, you have a limited amount of time to try out the game. It's usually the kind of thing I really enjoy though, so maybe uh, if I had I, or did take the time to sit down and read it, I would enjoy it. Okay, got all the parts apparently, and then I have to use the information found in those books to uh, unlock this, I guess. And this is a relic cube. These are scattered around the world here and there. They unlock lore as well. The time has finally come. As the Nexus project begins, we embark on the greatest scientific experiment in the long history of our people. And if we are successful, then we will have achieved what others have only dreamed of. We will have altered the destiny, not just of the Elden, but of the universe itself. So yeah, it, it plays a little, you know, voice thing. It's kind of interesting. Uh, after turning that in, got a call from the guy that gave me the quest earlier, the little commander guy. Not so little, really. He said, uh, need some help. Come help. So, I'm coming to come help. That giant meteor thing there, when I was under the explorer path, it had me uh, climb to the very top of that. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, there's some more settler stuff here. And this is apparently the queen of the rabbit people, or whatever they are. It can really be hard to let go sometimes. I can still hear the voices of the trees and Orin left behind on Arborea. Oh, that person is also a settler. They just took the thing. That's a design decision I do not like. If you're on, s if you're on similar paths, you compete for resources, and that's not cool. Okay. So what I gotta do, I gotta kill some chewas, which are like little hamster people. I gotta rescue some veggies, which are apparently uh, sentient vegetables. And uh, lead them to a safe planter. So, okay. Wait, why did my, uh, why did this reset? That's not cool. And I literally just picked something up, so, uh... I am not pleased about that. I don't know what just happened, if that's just a beta thing, or if it's a, uh... Design something designed that I'm just not understanding. 
But okay, here's the veggies. One, two, three, four, five. Now I gotta lead them over there? No, over here. Luckily there's a clear path. Got all these guys running behind me. And there we go. I just saved them. You can't eat them. Hmm. Okay, what happens if I pick this thing up? Collect. What is going on? I don't understand. Oh! Okay. Wait, this one's complete, but it, it's at 0 of 10? I don't understand the, the, the 0 of 10 thing. Okay. Whatever. You know. Maybe it'll explain it to me. But I now have four of these triple arc batteries. Powers nearly everything. Let's see. Okay, well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Rapid succession attacks. I'm I'm actually kind of liking the melee in this game compared to the ranged, which is not usual for me. It's not my uh, usual thing. I'm gonna let them uh, do what they want. Okay, I guess they don't need this. I'll take it then. I don't want to steal things from people when they've uh, just uh, fought possibly to uh, take that resource, because I am not a dick. Happy to hear okay, from you. finish that. I can get some new feet. Or er, shoes, not yet. feet. And another one of these resources. And uh, they're slightly different from what I had, but uh, eh. they do well to make the uh, the the re quest rewards that you first get a little more differentiated. Because then you're a bit more incentivized to be like, oh hey, I can keep playing this and look really snazzy. I mean, even if like the next quest rewards you get don't look as nice as the first ones you get, I think that's fine. Okay, find and talk to Arwick Redleaf. That's this guy right here. Oh, this is Commander Direct. This is the uh, guy that sent me here to begin with. Okay, I've talked to him. He wants me to kill some soldiers and destroy some turrets. Okay, deposit resources in this here. Keep an eye on your class resource. Use it to boost abilities. And you can save. Okay, defender's health boost. Let's build one of these. And run boost. Let's build one of that these. was amazing! Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe I should uh, grab some more of these. Actually, I really like this settler thing. I wasn't sure about that. Wasn't sure about it at first, but uh, see, see those platforms disappearing. That's what you had to use to climb it up.